you know, Juventio, uh, IKEA not only you know is, is into sourcing products, uh, or, and it is not only into you know setting up stores. It's also into manufacturing. You have factories across the world. Going forward, not in the immediate future, but going forward, do you see that happening in India as well? Uh, do you see factories, IKEA factories, being see, set up in India as well, and then also, of course, exporting it to your other markets? It's not in the future; it's in the present mm -hmm. today. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, on one side, uh, we have been sourcing for 30 years, mm -hmm. right? So mainly textile. Mm -hmm. But as we speak, uh, I am very proud to share that our colleagues in purchasing are setting up production or in three factories in two states, in Karnataka and Telangana, mm -hmm. doing furniture, which we haven't done before. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, and for the, we only see this is a global sourcing, not only uh, local sourcing for local market, it's local sourcing for global markets. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we also have H&M here. Uh, if we can have a comment from you as well, uh, you know, regarding being part of the value chain, being, you know, using India as, as, a, as a global uh, supply hub or, or, or as a global manufacturing hub, as far as textiles is concerned. Well, first I would say that it's, <clears throat> India has all the fundamentals in place to become one of the largest sourcing destinations in the world. Mm -hmm. A lot of things need to be done, of course, but the fundamentals are there. Secondly, I would like to say that it's more than one country. It's 29 countries in one, and each and every state provides unique competitive advantages. The challenge is, however, to maneuver in this highly complex landscape. And as a global buyer, we always have to address countries where we can get a good customer offer from. And that is something that we're now looking into more and more, how can we do even more business out of India for the exports by identifying those states that can actually compete with other countries in the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, let's let's discuss one more uh, one more interesting trend that is emergence of brand Sweden. Uh, if you can just explain that what what that means for uh, uh, companies from Sweden in, in India. There are certain values like sustainability or or uh, you know collaboration, innovation that are very core to. The Swedish heritage. Uh, so I think that that's really what I what is being reflected now is more and more that resonance with where the country wants to go. What are the areas, whether it's education, healthcare, sustainability, cleanliness, you know, things that are very core to the Swedish heritage. So there's a stronger, what I read through the survey, there's a stronger resonance than there was before. Right. Yeah. You know, I'm completely out of time. Uh, I'm getting signals now, but uh, you know, I'll have quick. 30 second comments from each of you uh, regarding budget expectations because that is perhaps one one uh, you know uh, occasion where many of these concerns uh, which uh, we discussed today could could be addressed so there's been also an announcement made on on uh, reduction in corporate tax rates right you know, and i think starts to now let's see that happen mm -hmm. you know i think that that's on its way but i think some more concrete measures to say now how do we make sure those concessions are are, are being you know the concessionary taxes everything else is being taken away how are we going to work with this? Right? Mm -hmm. So I think I'd like to see more of a concrete rollout plan mm -hmm. you know, than the intention that was expressed a year ago. Right. Right. Mr. Sand? Well, uh, it's, it's again the corporate tax, uh, which, is, which is of course a sinosure of the ice uh, from a company perspective. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course the GST is something pretty more strategic, so <laughs> we, we, we hope it, uh, we see the light of the day of much faster. <laughs> But otherwise, um, of course, uh, the, uh, the, the general rationalization of these taxes and duties, whether it's customs duty or excise duty, and, um, and the interpretation, I hope that we get smaller and uh, we could do more ease of business. The ease of business gets uh, more simplified. Apart from GST, other measures which you could <laughs> expect in, in the budget. Cleaned up in indirect taxes. Mm -hmm. Cleaned up. Zero doubt for, in, for interpretation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very, very simple cleaned up. Simple, simply framed laws. I think that is what the industry is looking at. And you have, you have the final word on this. And you will not like what I'm going to say. <laughs> you Go will ahead. not like because Go ahead. I think for the sake of clarity, uh -huh. and I think if we all want mm -hmm. one headline to be in the newspaper tomorrow, mm -hmm. it's GST. <laughs> and I don't know that we will like, but I, no, I, I, honestly, I think it's important. I think I don't understand why such a fundamental thing is not happening. Believe me. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, but, but you have to help. I think people can hardly understand how is the impact in the society. Eh? Uh -huh. For us, a retail company, 
it's about reducing prices, mm -hmm. it's about people getting more access, mm -hmm. consumption will go high, mm -hmm. production will go high, and as a consequence, more taxes for the government. Right. Yeah. Quick closing comments from each one of you. It's now downhill and not uphill. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're very bullish on India. Mm -hmm. We're very positive and we're looking forward to even greater footprint in India. Right. Uh, I, I can see only one way forward. It's, it's going to be growing in India. Right. Uh, last comments from you. Fantastic. I think uh, staying ahead of the curve. Right? Let's hope that uh, in the next year's survey, we see at least you know, uh, you know, 10, 15 percentage point jump in terms of perceptions, uh, both on the business climate side as well as on the investment Excellent. outlook side. GST. Thank you so much for your <laughs> <GST. laughs>